A trash man struggling to raise his twin daughters alone adopts an abandoned blind baby he finds near a dumpster. One day, he accidentally discovers the boy's hobby and helps him lay the groundwork for his future million-dollar business. Just as Bob thanked Destiny for giving him such a wonderful wife and two adorable kids, fate struck him with a painful blow. The 41-year-old, who had been married to his wife Sarah for nine years, ended up raising their twin daughters Kara and Christy alone. Sarah came clean about her longtime affair with another man and left Bob to care for them on his own. But that wasn't all. Is your other man their father? How could you do this to me, Sarah? Tell me the truth. Bob had argued, and Sarah's reply shattered him. She admitted Kara and Christy were not Sarah's affair partner's children. They were born to another man with whom she had an affair two years after marrying Bob. When Bob asked her why she cheated on him, she said, because you scavenge the dumpsters for a living, and I'm ashamed to say you're my husband. I want a rich life which you cannot afford. On his seventh birthday, Bob gifted Sam a book. What is this, Daddy? Sam asked. It feels so strange to touch. Bob was shattered. He thought he'd been living a perfect life with Sarah, but it took him nine long years to realize his wife, who he worshipped and loved, was not pleased with him. Bob could not see his daughters the same way again, but at the same time, he knew he could not live without them. Are you taking the children with you? He asked Sarah the day they divorced. Why would I take the kids with me when I'm going to marry someone else? You can raise them if you want because their biological father died years ago, she said without hesitation. Then she left and Bob never saw her again. Bob could not come to terms with the truth that his wife was gone but he pulled himself together to raise his daughters. He felt this was what fate wanted him to do. He battled against all odds to make his daughters happy. He believed they were his world, knowing little there was going to be a new addition soon. One day, Bob found an abandoned baby boy crying near one of the dumpsters he picked garbage from. A baby? He exclaimed and approached the little one. He looked around and saw nobody was there. He leaned and checked the baby's carrier and found a note that read, To whoever finds this blind baby, please take care of him. Bob was startled. How could someone do this to an infant? He picked the baby up and crabbled him. The baby kept crying and wriggled his tender hands to feel the person holding him. He kicked and screamed. Bob calmed the child down and took him home to feed him some warm milk before calling child services. I found him by the dumpster, he told the authorities. Later, the baby boy was taken to the hospital, and his blindness was confirmed. Bob's heart went out to the helpless little child and decided to adopt him. If I can raise two daughters by myself, I can certainly raise him too, he thought. Six months later, Bob legally adopted the baby and took him home. He's your new baby brother, Sam. What do you think? He introduced the baby to his daughters. Bob was initially skeptical about the challenges he'd have to face. He knew Sam would need special care and attention due to his blindness, so he did his best to help Sam feel loved. Seven years had passed when Bob discovered the boy had a special interest, and then the princess escaped from the tower. Bob would read bedtime stories to a giggling Sam, who would use his imagination to picture the beautiful princess trapped in a huge tower and a handsome prince secretly meeting her every night. Sam loved listening to such bedtime stories and never slept without one. On his seventh birthday, Bob gifted Sam a book. What is this, Daddy? Sam asked. It feels so strange to touch. It's a braille book. You must feel the raised dots and slowly follow them with your fingers. They will help you read and learn, replied Bob, who patiently trained Sam to use the book in the weeks that came. Every two months, Bob bought a few braille books for Sam. They were expensive so Bob would cut down on several expenses to afford them for his son. Twenty years passed, and Sam could read and write fluently by then. He decided to help blind people and started a small publishing house. Bob helped him with the essential equipment needed to get things started, using the money he had saved for his daughter's weddings. With time, Sam's business started to pick up. His newfound success meant he could change his family's living conditions and still be able to serve society. After three years, Sam was the owner of a huge publishing house that specifically helped blind people to read and write. His business fetched him a turnover of millions. 
He bought a huge mansion with his first million and moved in with his adoptive dad and sisters. Despite not being Bob's biological son, Sam made him proud in every way possible. He knew he was adopted and often said during interviews, parents are not those who give birth to us but those who raise us. My own parents didn't want me. They saw me as a burden. I thank Destiny for helping me find a loving father who helped me see the world through his eyes. Bob is my father and will always be. I'm proud to be his son.